Hey guys, the Boundless Vids here, here making a video on why I personally think PC is superior to console gaming. For one, I'm just going to get it out there, I am not biased when it comes to this, I actually have an Xbox 360 sitting right to my left, and I've had an Xbox 360 for close to three years, and a PS3 for about one year, although I did sell it to buy a graphics card for my PC, but it's been well worth it. I've had my PC for about six months, and there is really no looking back when once you get a PC um, yeah so here's top 10 reasons why you should play PC number 10 graphics yes why is it only number 10 though well because it's truly not that important but it is really nice to have some nice eye candy and if you're playing on three monitors like me then you get this whole surround experience which is amazing which you can never get on console uh, graphics yeah they're you know prettier looking that's pretty much all I have to say about it if you like pretty looking games come to PC number nine it's not that expensive contrary to popular belief it does not take three thousand dollars to get the most amazing gaming PC no it takes about six hundred dollars and it could be even be cheaper in some cases but for about six hundred dollars you can get this amazing PC and with all the money you save from Steam sales and Humble Bundles, oh my gosh, it is crazy. There was just a winter sale that just ended yesterday, uh, January 3rd, and I think I spent $20 and I got about $100 worth of games um, just from sales. I got Tomb Raider, which is $50 originally for $10, Far Cry 3 for $7, which I think was $40 originally. So you save so much money, like GameStop, having a sale is nothing compared to steam sales and yeah just it's really cheap in the long run I think I have about 140 games probably haven't spent more than five hundred dollars number eight free online what else do I have to say really you don't pay sixty dollars a month to play your favorite games That's pretty much all I have to say on it number seven PCs aren't just for gaming First of all, this video was edited, rendered, and uploaded on a PC. Hmm. And you can do your schoolwork, you can do your taxes, you can make mods, you can make games, you can do anything on a PC. I don't know how much I need to explain this, considering if you know how a computer works, that's what you can do, plus play games. Number six, unlimited storage space. Think about that for a minute. Xbox One is locked to 500 gigabytes plus maybe an external hard drive. PC, run out of your terabyte, maybe put another three terabytes in. It's really cheap and it doesn't cost very much at all to get more space. Basically you just have to have some pretty basic knowledge to install a new hard drive and you basically have unlimited space. Not to mention we can install solid state drives which is the god of hard drives basically get less space but they're super fast and super reliable um yeah number five no red ring of death no yellow light of death if you try to open your ps4 ps3 xbox one xbox 360 up to fix it you just voided the warranty there's no problem opening up a f your pc to fix it if you break just one part you can just replace that one part you don't have to replace the whole unit so basically, you don't have to worry. If something breaks, you fix it. If your Xbox breaks, if you open it up to fix it, or your warranty's past due, guess you gotta buy a whole new one. Number four, load times. Load times are nearly non-existent on PC. I have a PC and my load times for Skyrim's average around three seconds. Well, I was at my friend's house the other day, and his Skyrim load times were averaging close to 30 seconds. That's 30 seconds every time you open a door compared to 3 seconds. It can be even faster if you have a solid state drive. I'm going to put a video up here just to show comparison. Number 3. Upgradable Hardware. You can upgrade any time you want. If you want a better graphics card, just go out and get one. It's not a problem. You don't have to wait 7 years for a new enhancement to your graphics a uh, new a better graphics card improves your frames per second frames per second is how smooth the game runs 
Uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 was previously locked to 30 frames per second, which um, some of them still are on Xbox One and PS4. PS4 is a little bit better than Xbox One, so it can do 60 frames per second on most things, but Dead Rising 3, I'm pretty sure, is 30 frames per second, 720p, so they're still lacking very, very much. If uh, Dead Rising 3 was released on PC, an average PC player would have 60 frames per second, 1080p, so they're still very far behind and weak. Number two, emulators. Emulators can play games from your childhood. You can play any 64 game, any PS2 game, any game older, you can play any game. And if the game was a PC game originally, it's probably on Steam. So there's none of this like, oh, new console came out, I don't have any games sort of thing. You keep your library forever and I have actually been playing some Super Mario 64 and Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on my PC which is really good quite amazing so if you like old games and new games yeah there you go do that and last but not least mods mods can do anything from adding quest to Skyrim to making graphics look better I can't even explain to you all the different kinds of mods because the possibilities are quite literally endless and mods work for essentially any game. Some games are easier than others to mod. Um, mods are amazing. I'm just going to put up maybe a minute or two of footage of just mods so you can just see how amazing it is. Yeah, so that's my opinion. If you disagree, I don't really care. If you agree, great. If I completely changed your point of view on this whole thing and you're switching let me know i'd love to hear so yeah thanks for watching the boundless vids are out